Welcome everyone to Inside Esports. I'm Zurich and I'm sitting here next to my homie Drew Face for break down some Street Fighter. What happened this weekend? Bro, from the UK to New York, I saw some Street Fighter action all across the board, baby. Friday, Saturday, Sunday, don't matter. The man of the weekend, Bonchan. That's what we're going to be talking about, baby. That sounds hype, but before we break down versus fighting, let's check out these highlights. Nadesh goes there, he's not even... He oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, oh, no, no, the no, no, oh, no, 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 come on, bro. No. That was it. No. Chuck dash in. Oh, the pressure's on. Oh, no way. Oh, oh from down, down he's dead. Oh, the range. Jeez. Jazz, that's underneath. That's underneath. Trying to get out of this corner. Nice activation there from Bonchan. Oh, 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 that was oh, cheeky! That was disgusting! That was cheeky! Clip oh. that one! Bonchan is in danger of death, in danger of heading to the loser's bracket. That is exactly what's going to happen here. It's just still light, there's a few hits there beforehand. Yeah, there's two lights on the scaling. But dead. she has got low health, she's and done. that yeah. is why she's dead. And that is why Punk is in grand finals. Substantial likely for Bonchan. Oh, and Puff the that medium, the Big first damage. one didn't connect, but the second one did. And the back throw will take it, he backs it. off! Can't afford to get touched. But really, neither can Bonchan because oh. anything is going to be... Oh, it's a CA! He he it. It is. And he win punishes the buffered fist, the low forward, does the job. Bonchan is going to go to grand finals. He really wants to close jab interruption. Oh, he catches him! Counter hit. Bonchan and the really sun again. Oh, oh, and he's going to go to a reset bracket! Wow! Is Bonchan going to be the first person this year to beat Punk twice in Grand Finals? Oh, Punk, the activation. Oh, oh, oh he catches it. it. That's going to be it. Oh, it oh, is. Oh, and Bonchan oh, closes it out to oh, win oh, oh. his second premier event of the season. Bonchan has done it again. Recently won CEO, and he just picked up the versus fighting trophy. Drew, has he figured it out? Is he the best player in the entire scene right now? No. No, no, but he did figure out how to win. And you know how he figured out how to win? He stuck with Karen, baby. He's a team <laughs> enthusiast. And that's what happens when you stuck with a, when you stick with a character mm -hmm. that you like and suits your play style and make sure that everything's good for you. You win. Mm -hmm. No more Sagat, baby. No more fireballs. We about footsies right now. So and what, that's exactly what happened. Uh, so we saw in the finals there where uh, he was originally playing Sagat but then had uh, a hard time dealing with Punk's Karen. Of course. So then he had to switch. What is the main difficulties between the Sagat and Karen matchup? Uh, Karen is, has a lot of options around Sagat's fireball tools. And in a game like Street Fighter V, where fireballs are heavily, heavily nerfed, you can't be picking a fireball character against a character that has speed, normals, and agility on you, you know? Mm -hmm. So using Karen's speed and normals, he got bodied with Sagat. And then he <laughs> had to counterpick. He had to be like, I'm going to just mirror match uh, Pung and win. And then what happened? He managed to win against one of the best players in the world, I think. Yes, uh, let's talk about that mirror matchup because that was probably one of the most entertaining matches of all time. Shoutouts to both Bonchan and Punk. Oh, yeah, great oh players, my man. God, the entire footsies neutral heaven, amazing. Talk to us about that mirror matchup. What are the uh, you know key uh, notes that you have to pay attention to in something like that? Really, it, it's more so that Punk and Bonchan have an amazing understanding of how to play Street Fighter V's neutral. Mm -hmm. And they have, not only that, they have an amazing, amazing ability to adapt to their player's rhythm, to the opponent's rhythm. Mm -hmm. And so when, when you have two players who are great at that, it just becomes who's playing a little bit better that day. Mm -hmm. And like, Bonchan managed to edge him out in that decision. So I'm really happy that they got to play because Punk loves Bonchan. Punk is like, Bonchan's my hero. Because Bonchan's like a low tier hero, especially in the old days. Mm -hmm. And he, he's managed to outsmart everybody. And today he managed to outsmart even Punk, that, right? So that's yeah. amazing. That was a very, very good finals. Let's quickly talk about Punk because I feel like his kind of resurgence in the scene and also his Karen obviously is dominating now. Do you think that he was the main um, force, driving force for the new Karen meta at the moment? I think no. But for the reason is, Punk is someone you have to look and study. Mm -hmm. But people can't play like Punk. 
right? You don't have that timing. You don't have that reaction. You don't have that understanding of, of the neutral like that. Mm -hmm. But he did he did set the pace for everybody. He did show everybody this is what you can do with Karen at high level. And he started to do that near the end of season three, right? He showed everyone that Karen's not that bad of a character. Mm -hmm. So when season four came on, I think much of Karen's success is is both to the players playing Karen, right? They're both amazing players. Like Bonchan is a great Karen player. So it's Punk. Mm -hmm. So I, it's not a surprise. It's not really a surprise people are copying him, but I wouldn't say he's the guy that started the whole thing. Yeah, yeah. I, I find in the FGC there's always like kind of a wave of if whoever won a bunch of tournaments, it's instantly that character is the, the character yeah, that everybody chases. Yeah, everybody studies it, but because there's a lot of content, it's very easy to also figure out the matchup. Another player that I know you really like is Machabo, Woo! who also popped off this tournament, almost made it, but was. You know, just not there, not quite there. What did he lack to beat uh, Bon Chan and Punk? It, Karen and Karen and Sagat can kind of keep Nakali out, right? Mm -hmm. And Machabo plays Nakali, so he now Nakali I feel like is a character that has a lot of strong tools that's able to uphold against a lot of characters. Unfortunately, he didn't find his footing in time, mm -hmm. but he started pick up on the pace and the rhythms, and like knowing when, what moment to go in, what moment to to take advantage of Karen's like weaknesses up close very, very late. So it's kind of like, man, I just wish he adapted a little faster. But mm -hmm. honestly, Nika he's doing something amazing. He's getting top three so consistently with Nikali, a character that people are overlooking. Mm -hmm. So I, I hope that it just continues, continues his growth as a player. Mm. Speaking of players, Evo is so close, two weeks away, yeah. right? Is there anybody in the scene that you think will surprise us and you know, enter top eight. Enter top eight. I think, I think Dude, Dude will get top eight for okay. sure. Because Dude's having such a strong, strong, like momentum shift, right? At Toryuken he won, mm -hmm. right? And now, he, and he beat Punk at Toryuken with G. So I think he's gonna start showing everybody how good G is as a character. Now, who do I think will win? I think Punk will win. Oh. Punk will win because he's okay. kind of he's kind of due for one and he's having an incredible year This guy hasn't really done worse than top eight in any tournament. I know so I'm kind of like and he's so far ahead in the CPT boards He's number one by at mm -hmm. least triple the amount of second places and it's not even a joke So I I, I just hope that he wins too because he kind of deserves an evil victory and mm -hmm. you know USA USA <laughs> There it is. Drew thinks Punk will win the EVO champion. Make sure to check out EVO in a couple of weeks, August 1st to 4th. Drew, thanks for chatting FGC with me today, man.